Hello and welcome. We are here with another segment of the SIU Medicine Minute with Dr. Erica Nelson. How are you doing today, doctor? I'm doing great, thank you. No, of course. And we're talking about COVID and women. And do you believe that women should get the COVID-19 vaccine? Absolutely, yes. Okay, and then what about pregnant women? Absolutely. And they should go and talk to their providers so that they can get the, the correct information about the safety of the COVID vaccine in pregnancy and in breastfeeding. And if you are pregnant, what are the risks of contracting COVID-19? So we know that because of the physiologic changes during pregnancy that decreases the immune response, that pregnant women are at higher risk of having a worse illness with a COVID infection as well as a flu infection. And so they have a higher risk of needing higher standards, higher levels of care, including higher admissions to the ICU and even death from the COVID infection and the flu infection. And a lot of us are on social media right now. We're seeing a lot of things about fertility and COVID. Does the vaccine cause infertility? No, it does not. And that's based on science. We give women and their families many vaccines to help, to help prevent illnesses. And none of them have shown any influence on infertility. And, and there's never been and shown any reason that this protein would cause any problems with getting pregnant and keeping a pregnancy. Okay, and are there any final thoughts that you wanna leave our audience with? I think that all women should consider strongly to get the COVID vaccine to help prevent illness for them and their families. Pregnant women should consider it to decrease their risk of getting really ill and also to consider if they get the vaccine, they could be passing on immunity to their babies once their babies are born. Breastfeeding moms should consider the same thing. It's safe and it'll help them st stay well and as well as their babies. Well, thank you so much for joining us again, Dr. Nelson. Thank you. No, of course. And this has been another segment of the SIU Medicine Minute. Thanks for watching the SIU Medicine Minute. For more information, visit our website at siumed.org.